For billions of years, the sun has ruled unchallenged. A colossal sphere of fire and plasma, its power radiates across billions of kilometers, shaping planets, stripping atmospheres, and defining the fragile borders of life. It is the one constant in our sky, steady, predictable, and supreme. No force has ever changed its will or the path of its solar wind. Until now. Earlier this year, buried deep within data from NASA's Parker Solar Probe and the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter, scientists noticed something strange, a distortion hidden in the very breath of the sun. The solar wind, a storm of charged particles that should have flowed straight and evenly through the vacuum, was bending. It wasn't turbulence. It wasn't noise. It had structure, geometric, deliberate, and intelligent in pattern. At the center of that distortion was something moving, something small by cosmic standards, but unlike anything ever seen before. Its name was 3I, Atlas, or as the world would come to know it, 3I Atlas. At first glance, it seemed to be nothing more than another interstellar traveler, the third ever discovered after Aumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. A frozen relic drifting through the void, pulled briefly into our star's influence before vanishing forever. But 3I Atlas refused to behave like any natural object. As astronomers tracked it across the solar system, they noticed its glow wasn't random. The object brightened and dimmed in near-perfect intervals, rhythmic, precise, as if it were communicating. The brightness pattern repeated with mathematical consistency. Its light curves weren't chaotic reflections of sunlight off ice, they were signals. Then came the first real shock. When James Webb Space Telescope focused its instruments toward it, the readings showed something impossible. 3I Atlas wasn't merely reflecting light, it was modulating it. Photons were being absorbed and re-emitted in frequencies that looked engineered. Each interval matched the same timing found in the solar wind distortion recorded by Parker and Solar Orbiter. It was as though the object and the sun were speaking the same language. No comet should be able to do this. No natural rock could bend the sun's plasma. But 3I Atlas did. The Parker Solar Probe, skimming the edges of the sun's corona, detected a wave pattern that matched no known model. Instead of flowing uniformly, the solar wind was curling, spiraling around a moving focal point. When mapped, that focal point aligned perfectly with the coordinates of 3I Atlas. NASA at first dismissed it as coincidence, perhaps an interaction between solar magnetic loops or a brief plasma eddy. But when the solar orbiter, positioned millions of kilometers away, recorded the same bending signature, the theory collapsed. Two spacecraft, two perspectives, one undeniable phenomenon. The sun's own wind, the stream of charged particles that defines the shape of the heliosphere, was being redirected by something the size of a small asteroid. Physically, that's impossible. To bend plasma on that scale would require a magnetic field far stronger than Earth's, one that no small body could produce. It was as if a pebble had diverted a hurricane. The only reasonable explanation left was the most unsettling one. 3I Atlas wasn't a rock. It was a machine. Simulations showed that the object behaved as if it had its own magnetic field, dynamically responding to the sun's energy. Webb's infrared sensors revealed fluctuating heat signatures consistent with some kind of controlled energy conversion, perhaps turning solar radiation into magnetic force. The more sunlight it absorbed, the stronger the distortion in the solar wind became. The feedback loop was immediate. It was as if 3I Atlas were using the sun itself as fuel. Astrophysicists began referring to it as a possible stellar siphon, a theoretical construct capable of harvesting solar energy directly from plasma flows. Others proposed a more chilling hypothesis, that it was an observer, a probe of alien origin, powered by the very stars it studied. 
Every new observation only deepened the mystery. Its tail, once thought to be vaporized ice, moved counter to expected trajectories. Its magnetic polarity flipped rhythmically. It emitted faint electromagnetic pulses every 4.3 seconds, not random, but repeating with absolute precision. If it were debris or a comet, it should have disintegrated near perihelion. Instead, it grew brighter. Stronger. As though awakening. Even more baffling were the data correlations between light and plasma. When 3i Atlas increased in brightness, Parker's instruments recorded sharper bends in the solar wind. When it dimmed, the wind straightened. The relationship was mathematically exact, like a conductor orchestrating a cosmic symphony. Scientists tried every natural explanation, solar resonance, Lorentz forces, tail ionization, none could replicate the pattern. It was as though the object possessed control. To generate such effects would require manipulating magnetic fields in three dimensions, technology well beyond human capability. Theoretical models suggested that, if the object were artificial, it would need to channel energy in the terawatt range, enough to power entire civilizations. That led some physicists to an astonishing conclusion. 3i Atlas might be evidence of a Type II civilization on the Kardashev scale one capable of harnessing the total energy output of its parent star. Humanity, by comparison, isn't even a full Type 1 but even that didn't explain the elegance of what was happening. The bending wasn't chaotic or forceful. It was precise. The Sun and 3i Atlas seemed to be engaged in something almost delicate, a feedback exchange. A resonance between star and visitor. For the first time in human history, we weren't just observing the cosmos. The cosmos might have been responding. If 3i Atlas is artificial, it might not be a probe in the way we imagine, not a vessel of metal and circuitry, but something far more advanced. A construct of magnetic architecture, sustained by stellar winds, living in harmony with plasma rather than resisting it. Perhaps it doesn't even contain intelligence, Perhaps it is intelligence, existing as energy and pattern, rather than form and matter. An energy-based life form. A consciousness of magnetism and light. When the solar wind bent, it wasn't defiance. It was conversation. Imagine it. A being that travels between stars, not through propulsion, but through resonance, riding the magnetic tides of suns across galaxies. To such a creature, stars aren't distant furnaces, they're oceans. And our sun was merely another shore. It makes you wonder how many times such travelers might have passed through our system before we learned to see. How many messages might be encoded in the light we dismiss as background noise. How many moments of contact we've already missed because we weren't listening in the right way. As 3i Atlas drifts away toward the dark beyond Neptune, its trail continues to bend the solar wind ever so slightly, a lingering whisper in the plasma sea. Its pulses still echo faintly in data streams, repeating with quiet precision. Maybe it's simply physics we don't yet understand. Or maybe, just maybe, it's a signal we were finally ready to receive. The question that remains isn't what 3i Atlas is. It's why it came. Was it observing? Refueling? Or testing the waters of a young civilization that has only just begun to peer into the void? If light is the language of the universe, perhaps this was the first time humanity truly heard a word of it. And if so, then the bending of the solar wind wasn't an act of defiance, but a message, a gesture written in sunlight. A reminder that we are not alone. That intelligence might already exist on scales we can barely comprehend, as waves, as fields, as stars that think. And maybe, somewhere out there, beyond the thin reach of our instruments, something radiant turned its attention toward us and whispered, we see you, stay curious. Because out there, beyond the edge of the heliosphere, something might still be bending the wind. Waves Discovery 
Exploring the unknown, one mystery at a time.